These horrific school shootings take a traumatic toll on parents trying to protect their own children. Joining us tonight is Dr. Aras Javanback. He is a psychiatrist and serves as the director of Stress, Trauma and Anxiety Research Clinic. Now, doctor, these shootings are becoming all too common. This time, 19 children and two adults killed. Doctor, what do we say to parents tonight worried about safety inside their child's classroom? Thank you for having me. Yeah, this is this is very sad and this just keeps happening. And what do we say to the parents? We say, well, yeah, this is the unfortunate sad truth of the country. But at the same time, it's important to well, how do parents handle this? Because at the end of the day, this is something about how to help the families and the children. One is to acknowledge the emotions. If there's fear, if there's anxiety, if there's frustration, anger, don't deny them and acknowledge them. But at the same time, be able to put it in perspective. One of these events is too much, but in reality, put it in the perspective of how rare they are and in terms of risks to our children, the risk is still very low. Sadly, these keep happening, but knowing that the chances and the risks are still very low help a lot. Also, for parents, it's important to limit their exposure, especially when it comes to graphic news and highly emotional news. I'm not suggesting people to be uninformed. It's important to know what's happening in the country and in the local. But hours and hours of exposure to graphic news is not helpful for the parents. It's not helpful for the kids. So taking times off from the news, if the emotions are too much, I mean, sometimes using help from professionals is, is, is important. Taking respite, doing, keeping the routines of the families are very important for the kids and the parents and ultimately Sadness, anger, anxiety, frustration, these are all energies. All these emotions have an energy that can be channeled into action. Taking action, whether it's an activism that helps reduce in some way these uh, events or trying to help those who are affected. Yes, these are so uh, many good tips that you're giving us tonight, uh, Doctor. Now, we're still coming to grips with the Oxford school shooting only six months ago. It's still in the news day in and day out. Students still trying to wrap their minds around the trauma of losing four classmates and others being wounded right in their school. How do we move forward on that and try to function following a tragedy like this right in our own backyard? That's very true. And the closer this happened to us, the more it affects us emotionally. I think it's important to focus here on the children and see how we can help them. I mean, one part is that kids learn safety, learn how safe and how unsafe the environment is from their parents directly. So especially for younger kids, it's important for parents not to show a lot of negative emotions in front of them. At the same time, limit kids' exposure to these news. If a kid keeps watching them and on the TV and hearing the news, I mean, even for younger kids, they may even think this keeps happening over and over, or they may even uh, not know this is not uh, close to them. They may even feel like it's it's in the neighborhood and area. I mean, with the Oxford, unfortunately, it was nearby. So keeping the exposure, especially when it comes to images and videos to kids, when kids are exposed or when they ask, don't deny that, talk to them in an age appropriate way, inform them and also assure them that still there are very safe. Unfortunately, these sad things happen in an age appropriate way show them that the uh, chances are very low and adults are doing all they can do to help them and keep them safe. Absolutely. Yeah, keep the routines of the family. And also if, again, for the kids also, if there's a need for uh, like the emotions are too intense or the kid is reg regressing to younger ages behaviors, seeking professional help can help also. We will certainly do that. Thank you so much, Dr. Javan back. We appreciate your time tonight and all of your expertise, your great advice. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Have and a good night. You have a good night as well. We want to pass along this phone number to you. It is the Oakland County Resources and Crisis Helpline, and it is available 24-7. You can call 1-800-231-1127. Two, and don't forget, you can count on 7 Action News for continuing coverage of this tragedy in Texas tonight and in the days to come, both on air and online at WXYZ.com. Dave.